video of the session which means I'm kind of gonna make no progress to the main story which I need to do to get to a event but I guess this Miss, is how it is why didn't you just do this earlier because I gotta Such edit these videos for tomorrow approach violates my aesthetics of memory but as a means to an end I need to put this aside for a more indifferent process Actually, tomorrow, if Withering Waves uh, definitely confirms it's on console and says it's coming out earlier than in May, like a lot of people are pretty sure it's gonna happen, it's like, bro, I might just need to speedrun this story, like, massively. Like, forget doing the stuff I was doing in Lost Judgment. Anyway, get the hell out of there. There's no weird, sweet dreams troop, nor is there evidence strewn all over the place. We finally caught up with her. But what's that thing? A Bella Boggian trash can? In Penacony? Hey! Dear Memo Keeper and Mr. Coldfeet, you made it. I didn't expect you to skip the final puzzle. That's on me. All right, all right. Miss Sparkle cares not for the faults of ants like me. Come then, this is the final question. Listen up. What creature has four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs at night? Oh hell. No murder case this time around? Sometimes it's nice to take things easy. Come on, dear, give me your answer then. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, what is it then? My answer is bugs. Is that no. right? No. Wah, wah, wrong answer. That's funky, but a wild guess. The correct answer is sparkle. Oh, uh, hell. sleepy in the morning, she can't get out of bed. She runs about all afternoon in a fluster, so is exhausted by evening but has to still raise a hand to hold a toothbrush. Poor Sparkle. So naturally she's got four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs at night. What the heck was that jibber-jabber? What a cute answer. Thanks for the compliment, my dear. But you can't try to fool me, seeing as you just tried to cheat. Wrong answer. Accept your punishment. Well, <laughs> what do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. Put that trash can down as fast as possible. Let's make it quick. Yeah. <laughs> Destiny, ill fate descends. Get them. Huh. Holy smokes! What's up with this guy? He just came out swinging from nowhere. Huh? No voices? <sighs> this guy's pretty quiet. Miss, let's hurry up. Flip open the lid and find the girl. Wait. Don't move. Something's off. Uh, uh, miss! You... you killed Sp 
sparkle. <laughs> what in the dang and rumpa was that? How is this possible? How can people die inside Pentaconi's dreamscape? In the Garden of Recollection. What did you do? <sighs> you did this, didn't you? Killing people in their dreams. Only the Remembrance has the powers to do that. You planned it out all from the start because she teased you and was pranking you. You wanted to kill her. Oh, I understand. You refused to let me go because you wanted to drag me into all of this. If I don't agree, I'll end up just like she did. There is no death inside Penacone's dreamscape. That's the promise of the family and the blessing of the Harmony. Not even a memo keeper can break this barrier. Then why would Sunday be so worried about his sister? You know? What? I don't under- There has to be death here. Which I still hope isn't true, because I want to see Firefly again. There's no need to take <coughs> such great pains. If you just want confirmation, I've already told you the answer, Miss Sparkle. Oh, she's been Sambo again. M Miss Sparkle! Who are you talking to? You. Sparkle has disguised herself as another character. Wouldn't that be you? Mr. Sampo. She really disguised herself as Sampo twice? This? Don't jump to conclusions! If you want to accuse me of being Sparkle, you have to provide the evidence. Oh, I'm afraid evidence is a little too hard to come by. So, deduction will do. The hint for the final question was a little too obvious. Oh, you mean the locked room murder. <laughs> I thought you weren't doing that one. All the painstaking effort that Miss Sparkle put into it. How could I ever miss it? The key to solving the puzzle lay in two pieces of information put forward by the detectives. First, the large splatter of blood at the crime scene. Second, the victim had been dead for some time. Based on my shallow understanding, I can only draw two conclusions. One is that the murderer did not need to create a locked room case, because a locked room always needs a reason to exist. But, based on the detective's description, this locked room did not delay the discovery of the body. There was no third party at the crime scene to frame, and the blood everywhere didn't look like a faked suicide. That being so, the murderer seems to have no reason for creating a locked room. There is also reason to speculate that if the crime scene was a locked room, then its creator might not necessarily be the murderer. As for my second conclusion, it's even more obvious still. When everyone broke into the scene of the crime, why did the assistant rush off to staunch the blood? A trained professional was somehow happily destroying a crime scene just to save someone who's obviously been dead a while. The answer is simple. It's because the assistant detective is the murderer. Well, you could say that the guy who went to go stop the blood did it because that's the first response you did and didn't pay attention that the person was probably dead a while. But once you realize they're dead, you're like, oh, well, that was kind of useless. I mean, I don't know. But really? You're using Sampo again? I already thought you would change it up. I gave you too much credit. At the time, I was in such a hurry that I didn't hear the whole mystery. I tentatively speculated that the murderer had killed the victim the night before, but hadn't locked the door from the inside. And so, when he learned this piece of information, he realized that the victim had created their own locked room mystery. That's why he had to rush to the crime scene as soon as possible to confirm whether or not the victim left any evidence implicating him. And, judging by his behavior, it probably had something to do with that canvas. Like some final words. Of course, this is just a simple mind game. The answer to the puzzle isn't important. 
Miss Sparkle just wanted to pass on one hint to me. That the murderer is the assistant detective. Which means it's you, Mr. Sambo. I've been using this term of address, but it was you who first came up with it. Has anyone ever told you that you're more like a detective than a memo keeper? In my opinion, there is no difference between the two. Follow ripples along the surface of the water. Use some abilities and tricks to keep diving deeper. And touch that secret deep inside people's hearts. Salvage it and protect them carefully. The truth does not lie. Neither do memories. Exquisite reasoning and very close to the truth. But I have another answer. Would you like to hear it? Another answer? The great artiste Sparkle locked herself away in her bedroom using red paint to create the semblance of spattered blood everywhere. And that assistant detective who was first on the scene, who confirmed her death, was not the murderer, but rather an accomplice who assisted her in faking her own death. Unbelievable, you are a masked fool. What a pity, such a pity. My dear, you were so, 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 so close to the right answer. Unfortunately, the right answer is... Miss Sparkle's body. Sparkle was disguised as... Sparkle's body. Ding-a-ling, I won. Does Miss Sparkle's body even count as a real character? Why not? Miss Sparkle's body appeared in all three of those skits just then. It's a little bit forced, but it's fine. So, who is this Mr. Sampo, then? Beautiful lady, I already confessed everything to you earlier on. I really didn't know a thing. I just helped a friend send a letter. That's... All. So I've been running a fool's errand this whole time. My dear, why so serious? Haven't you been having a great time? I have, at least. You take memories, and I get joy. We get what we need from each other. Seeing as we're such kindred spirits, but also such loners. Why don't you come and work with me? Ooh, we can dance ballet together. Oh, am I understanding this correctly? A masked fool inviting me to work together? A show of unprecedented splendor is about to be staged in Panacone. If you're too late to take the stage, you can work behind the scenes. If you want to appreciate this drama, you have to stand up under that spotlight as you take the stage and watch the dancing envelop you. Come with me. This is the best seat in the house. I don't really understand why you're so fixated on destroying family barriers. But, as I said before, a memo keeper can't help you. It's frankly above my pay grade. Also, I don't consider you a loner. Oh, I don't mean him, but rather behind you. The one who hired you to come to Panacone probably doesn't want you secretly linking up with other forces, right? How did you know? Memory is like the deep blue sea. But if you try to catch two fish with one cast, you might not be satisfied with your catch. <laughs> so, you mean, you're refusing? Memo Keeper, did you think you could just leave? Why not? <laughs> My dear, I don't want to scare you. You'll know the answer sooner or later. 
We're just getting to know each other a little today. If you ever change your mind, come find me at the tavern. That is, if you can find me. <laughs> Let's go, Sam... Sampo? Sampo. Who is... Sampo? Uh, this is... This is... Bellabug, right? Oops. Did she just... Oh... I said, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Such a crude approach violates my aesthetics of memory. So once you leave my sight, you'll be able to remember everything again. And also, I'm sorry, my dear. My dream dance partner? I've already got sights on someone else. What's with these winks? Stop doing these winks. You know they're you're they're affecting somebody. It ain't me. What a special dream this has been. And did you notice its nested structure? Being part of a play inside the dreamscape, it's as weird and captivating as being in a dream within a dream. <sighs> so, it really? No, there's something else. I gotta speak with you. That's the end of Miss Black Swan's dream bubble. Are you satisfied with your experience? I mean, I think going through that has just kind of made me think that I kind of just... I don't even feel like I should question things anymore. There's always somebody around the corner. I also found this dream suitably fascinating. You've gained joy from it. And Miss Black Swan surely also feels gratified. Yes? If we meet again, I will pass your esteemed praise on to her. Ah. I noticed that the people in your dream were familiar to you. It's worth repeating that dreams are just dreams. And in Pentecost, dreams can be processed or even tampered with. Things in our dreams cannot be trusted, let alone in someone else's dreamscape. If there's any information that you'd like to confirm, please do so by the cold, hard light of reality. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Hmm. Why am I loading again? Really? I wouldn't do anything to her. Don't worry about that, Memo Keeper. Let's talk about my thing. I've helped you out with everything you've asked, as agreed. Shouldn't you give my mask back to me now? Since when did the masked fools suddenly start respecting agreements? <laughs> Just kidding. I loved seeing that look on your face. Take this key to the tavern cellar, third barrel on the left. You never saw me. But Sampo, after all this time, what made you suddenly want to take back your mask? This doesn't seem like the Sampo I know. Let me guess. A catastrophe is coming to your L06. Am I right? But the catastrophe passed. Well, no comment about that. But I love that line you said. If you're too late to take the stage, oh, no. you can look behind the scenes. That really makes sense. Great, so now I gotta worry about Bellabog again? Sometimes even an old timer like me feels like taking the stage and making a fool out of myself. If you're all out of options, please get in touch with me. I'm the kind of person who values friendship highly. Forget it. You'll be doing me a favor if you stay away from Bellabog. After all, the elation that Miss Sparkle seeks isn't something old Sempo can stand by. Go tell Giovanni I said hi. Fine, I'm just spitballing here. Don't take it so seriously. Why so serious? 
You really gotta keep pulling out your joker, huh? Ugh, Bellabog, gonna be in trouble again. It's actually kind of annoying. Jupiter Free, I imagine you've already seen that dream bubble. Relax. I just want to know if anyone has come looking for you yet. You're Black Swan? Indeed, the memo keeper you know. I'll make this simple. The fool named Sparkle is currently searching all over the place for that dream bubble. I do not know what her intentions are, but allowing it to slip into her hands will only make the situation more confusing. Jupiter, can you do me a favor and go to reclaim that dream bubble? Why don't you do it yourself? I didn't expect you to refuse me. I guess I could go myself, but I don't remember where that dream bubble was. Can you remind me? I'm curious. How could a memo keeper forget a memory? Are you really Black Swan? Hmm, you figured me out. Well, I'm not a true memo keeper after all. I can't believe you figured me out so quickly. How dull. Pranks are all about back and forth. You've seen how much I have fun with that memo keeper. You should learn from her, young nameless. This is just the beginning. I'll be back! Please don't come back. Nothing good ever comes from hanging out with a mass fool. I like how... I really like how me not liking Black Swan after associating herself with Aventurine got me out of that safely. I'm getting deja vu here. You may also know that interesting young fool Sparkle. She's really gotten into disguising herself as other people. Jupiter, has she tried this with you already? Wait, then you might be... If that's the case, you could be Sparkle in disguise too. I see you're on high alert. What, what would you have me do to prove I am me? Some unique actions you do out of habit, like looking in the mirror a lot, but if that little Miss Fool excels in observation, there is a chance that she could perfectly imitate everything about a person. I think the only thing that can differentiate someone from another is their memories. Slow down! There is no way for an outsider to completely steal or imitate every ounce of, per of a person's memory. It's just like when we met in Penacone, is it not? A strange dreamland surrounding us. A series of strange murders. People with differing dreams. The truth that lies beneath the water's surface. Do you need me to go on? I need more. I can't be the one doing all the talking. By your logic, you should also have to prove that you are not Sparkle Jupiter. Huh? I'm just joking. As a memo keeper, I have naturally known who the person is on the other side of my screen. Miss Sparkle's pranks are not without their benefits. She is able to make us re-examine what we have seen and think about the appearance and reality of the dreamscape. This is also the reason that I shared the dream bubble with you. Alright, looks like she hasn't caused any major damage. I will put my mind at ease. Talk to you again soon. Ugh, man, what the hell. Alright, let's go talk to Adventurine for like one second. And then not again. I mean, we will talk again. I'm just not going to be talking to him again for, like, the next recording session. That's the... Whoa, 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 hold on. Actually, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, friend. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. I don't trust that. I don't think you give a shit what happens to anybody. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. The famous singer, Robin. Could Robin actually... 
Well, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? <laughs> I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me, and they hate the IPC. So they'd never lie. This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Okay, so she wasn't killed here, she was killed somewhere else. Did where? you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? Panagoni has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's Dreamweavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her. The girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger. An imposter. An unsought guest. An emanator who hides her true identity. Look, I know the whole thing of even your worst enemy could be the nicest person to you up until the moment they kill you. But, until that moment happens, I'm more on her side than I will ever be on yours. So keep talking. Ifrit's death was a foregone conclusion. And Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? That's just one side of the story. It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time. And I'm willing to wait. Yeah, looks like you're gonna be waiting for eternity. I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, Covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Everyone's got their own agenda. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. If I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows. Right? Yeah, whatever you say. Who's to say there isn't an even deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface? Memo Keeper, I think our little deal is finished. Aventurine is telling the truth. This memory is a real one, and there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the Garden, and there are real limits to what they can actually do, but you know all this. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. You are not teaming up with my friends, you scheming prick. I told you, I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentagoni for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC, if you catch my drift. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way, they've hushed up the existence of death before, so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. What do you mean, just cover up? Why are they not trying to solve it? It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. Nobody ever being the wiser. That's not fair, right? So then, friend, I need your help. Stop. No, I can't trust That's you. That's fine. I'm not forcing you. But I'm really not asking for much, so why don't you at least hear me out, okay? I have but only one goal. 
the family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. You know, it, if we're gonna have the IPC here, why don't you leave? You know, why don't we have Topaz here? Now we have she's chance. likable. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. I need justice for Firefly as well. Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family. So they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions. And that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. All you give a damn about is your money. You don't give a shit about what actually happened to Firefly or Robin. The Nameless would never associate with the IPC. Don't worry, just head back and talk things over with your companions. That navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Look, here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Oh, and take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. I don't it. need your fucking handouts. I'm not owing you anything. So long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. Aventurine just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. What now? What are your plans? Black Swan. What is she thinking? Bro, well, gotta be honest with you, I don't care what Aventurine thinks, I don't care what Black Swan thinks. I'm looking at who I care what thinks. I want to know her side of the story. At least so far, Acheron had tried to protect us, be a friend, and even if she's telling us a bunch of lies, well, let's just hope when I see this white hair, don't make me hate her.